When you commute to work every day, you probably don't consider how expensive a car mistake could be, whether it's your fault, other drivers, or even the car manufacturers. If something goes wrong, it can cost you a whole lot of money, or even worse, your health. In this video, we'll take a look at the most expensive car mistakes ever made. And a warning, you're going to see a lot of your favorite cars on fire, so be prepared. Supercar Cargo Ship Perhaps the most expensive car mistake ever made wasn't made on the roads. It was made in the ocean. In February 2022, a cargo ship carrying over 1,300 supercars caught fire. This mistake cost over 143 million and the amount of supercars that were destroyed is unbelievable. Over 1,100 Porsches were destroyed, nearly 200 Bentleys perished, on top of this, around 3,000 less expensive saloons and hatchbacks were also burned. What's more, the cause of the fire was never even discovered. Thankfully, the 22 crew members on board the cargo ship managed to get to safety. However, the cars were unable to be recovered, and thousands of American customers were left disappointed and without brand new supercars. It's a little ironic that one of the most expensive car mistakes ever made happened without a single engine being turned on. The Lamborghini Gallardo has tended to catch fire in its history. The main cause of this problem was mechanical failures and poor maintenance. Another problem which also caused the Aventador to be recalled is that overfilling the fuel tank could allow vapors to reach the hot engine and ignite. In 2019, 22-year-old Black Sierra was the unfortunate recipient of this problem. He'd purchased a brand new Gallardo, having spent £10,000 extra on servicing. As he was driving down the motorway, he noticed a strong smell of petrol. He pulled over, and all of a sudden, his brand new Lamborghini caught fire. Thankfully, Lack was able to get out of the vehicle safely. However, the car was completely ruined, and the mistake cost around $150,000. Considering the car was brand new, this must have been devastating. Zenvo ST1 If you're a fan of Top Gear, you'll probably remember the episode when Jeremy Clarkson tested Denmark's newest hypercar, the Zenvo ST1. However, you'll probably also remember the moment that the car caught fire. Zenvo replied to this fiasco with the following statement. Driving was not recommended in many parts of Britain due to low temperatures and extreme rain. The weather conditions and the amount of water on the track severely reduced the traction on the car's 34530 ZR20 rear tires, resulting in a lap time that doesn't reflect the real potential of the car in dry conditions. However, the real reason was probably mechanical. The first ST1 that was set to be tested broke due to braking clutch failure, and the model that caught fire had issues with the cooling fan. Whatever the reason for the fire was, it was an extremely costly mistake. In fact, a Zenvo ST1 cost the best part of $2 million. Ferrari FF Ferrari has a reputation for being a little combustible, and the FF was one of their worst models for this. Several owners reported their cars catching fire, costing them hundreds of thousands of dollars. For instance, one FF caught fire on a motorway in China, another caught fire during a test drive in Germany, and most recently in Poland, one driver reported a fire that started on the driver's side of the car. These fires were absolutely brutal. They spread to the engine bay in a matter of moments, causing damage that made the supercar unrecognizable. The fires were so hot that they were able to melt the steel components of the FF. Ferrari never properly addressed this issue, but they did conduct a recall. In total, over 10 Ferrari FFs have caught fire, each FF costing around $300,000. So this engineering mistake has cost the company over $3 million. The Lamborghini Veneno is arguably the most insane car the company has ever released, and with 7 million, it's one of the most exclusive and expensive cars in the world. But did you know the Veneno has had a problem with fires before? All 13 Veninos in existence were recalled amid fire concerns in 2017. A fire could occur if fuel reached the exhaust system, which it tended to do when the tank was full. Had the company not recalled the vehicles in time, this mistake would have cost the company over $45 million. The recall itself probably cost a few hundred thousand itself, but this mistake could have easily become the most expensive one in the company's history. The Jaguar F-Type is one of the most iconic British sports cars in existence. However, the 2014 model had a serious electrical issue which cost the company a lot of money. Unlike the other mechanical issues, the F-Type's problem was electrical. The battery cables were prone to detach, which would cause a short circuit, and in extreme cases, a fire. 
The problem got so bad that the company issued a recall. However, they weren't quick enough to recall every vehicle. In 2014, a new F-Type caught fire on the German Autobahn. The car had driven just 500,000 miles. A 2014 F-Type costs around $50,000, therefore this is one of Jaguar's most expensive mistakes. The Tesla Model S is one of the most successful electric cars ever built. It's also received a 5-star safety rating. However, several Model S's have caught fire after crashing, making for one of the most expensive car mistakes ever made. Several Teslas have caught fire all over the world. One of the worst cases was in Pennsylvania in 2021. A driver was using his Tesla Model S Plaid Edition when all of a sudden he noticed smoke pouring from out of the back of his car. Before he knew it, the whole car was on fire. Tesla cars produce electric fires which are particularly challenging to put out. Luckily, the driver wasn't hurt. Elon Musk has stated that it took a lot of time and money to make the vehicle's battery safe, and with each Plaid model costing around $135,000, this was one of the worst car mistakes ever made. The Ferrari 250 GTO holds the world record for the most expensive car ever sold at $70 million. And if one were to be destroyed, every petrol head might just shed a tear. Unfortunately, this did happen at Goodwood Festival in 2017. The RAC Tourist Race is one of the best parts of the festival, and Andy Newell was asked to drive the 250 GTO. However, when turning into a corner, he spun out, crashing the car into a wall. Fortunately, the car wasn't completely destroyed. However, you can only imagine how much money it costs to have it repaired. Do you know what's worse than one supercar crashing? 10 supercars crashing. This occurred in Japan in 2021, when a group of friends decided to take their cars out for a spin. One car crashed, taking nearly everyone else out with them. No one was seriously hurt, thankfully, although 10 people suffered minor injuries. As for the cars, many were beyond saving. The cars that crashed included eight Ferraris, three Mercedes, a Lamborghini, and a Nissan Skyline. There was also a Toyota Prius, which sadly didn't make it. With so many cars involved, this crash is easily one of the most expensive car mistakes ever made. In fact, the damage totaled around $3.8 million. The Chevrolet Vega had all of the ingredients to be an iconic American muscle car. It looked the part, had a great engine, and sounded even better. However, there was just one small problem the Vega was prone to catching fire. The reason for this problem was Chevrolet's fault. The radiator that cooled the engine was far too small, leading to continuous overheating. The carburetor would also come loose, leading to fuel leaks. The problem got so bad that in 1972, Chevrolet recalled 500,000 Vegas. Ultimately, the company was unable to fix the problem and the Vega was discontinued by 1975. This car mistake cost Chevrolet a lot more than you might think. Not only did they have to spend thousands redesigning and repairing existing Vegas, but they also lost the opportunity to produce an iconic muscle car. The poor design of the Vega is therefore one of the worst car mistakes ever made. So there are 10 of the most expensive car mistakes ever made. It's unbelievable to see these cars crash and burn, but thankfully most people have come out of these situations without sustaining an injury.